Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. Today, we have a problem over at the Legacy. But first, my Connie, grab the baby gators and put it by Ivy. Thank you. This is problem today. No, it's weird. You could have just like asked this for yeah, right here. Yeah, right here. And that problem is this 27,000 gallon Stingray tank is leaking. And literally, it started the other day with this leak right here. Yes, there is a small leak in our stingray tank. Now that we got the water all the way to the top, it's sitting there. That's when the stuff starts happening. It's not huge, so I'm very happy that the floor's not flooded, but still an issue that needs to be addressed. This is something we know about. We're gonna put water in all the rest of them first, make sure there's no other leaks, and then we're gonna have our guys come out and fix this and or whatever else. So it's a good thing we have all these pig pads because I think we're gonna be going through a lot of them. what you guys do Oh, you don't know, huh? What'd you guys do? There's a leak in the Stingray. Oh, hell no. Good morning and welcome to the vlog. There's a leak in the Stingray day, player. That's great. But that's not all. Come over here, guys. It's a, it's a little bit of a squeeze. Oh, God, watch your, watch your footing. Uh, so as you can see, this right here is leaking as well. Yeah. Who put that there? Nobody will know. And yes, is that unfortunate that it didn't all work out perfect? Of course. But that's part of what this process is. We'd rather it start leaking now than when the aquarium actually opens. But before we get somebody out here to fix the stingray leak, we have to make sure that none of the other tanks are leaking. Mike, this is weird. Why are we doing this? I don't know. We've never actually done this before to getting all the gators out up front. Um, I don't do gators. Start grabbing gators. What are you doing? I gotta grab another one. I like you. I had the double hand. Double yeah, it? That's oh, two. They're not gonna How start. are we gonna do all this all in one trip? Who's gonna watch oh, them while they're out there? we're gonna do this there? in one trip? Connie? Okay. Grow up. Okay, this is minion. I go to the underlight. Oh. Oh, that's cheesecake. Mike! I don't know that one. That one might be. Can I name him? Maybe that's cheesecake. Ah! Let's take these out and then we'll try to get the rest. Where's your little game? This might go really good or really bad. Ah! ah! Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, they're cute! <laughs> Oh no, no, he no, thinks no. he's in with the gators, No, no, dude. no, 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 no. You can't go in there. Laura's gonna kill us. Cheesecake, I. you can't do that. I'm not a gator wrangler. I will admit that. I do not do this. I don't, oh. These little suckers are fast on the floor. Gotta come on, four more gators. Right, go. And about a month ago, we filled up the koi pond. Thankfully, no leaks in the structure, but there was one behind the wall, which we fixed. Same goes with the archer tank. When we first filled it up, it was leaking right here. There might be an issue. So we can see here, that some water is leaking out. Got that all fixed. And this has been full for over a month now. So any day we'll be able to drain this, clean it all up, and get the final water in there with the filtration. That's pretty cool. Looks like something's filling up with water right here. And it leads right to the predator tank. Let's see if they're filling this up. Oh, there's a little bit of water in it. What are they doing? I smell fresh paint though. Well, that's what I figured. It's not actually on right now. As you can see, they need to paint these walls right here brown before they can actually start filling up this enclosure any further. Which means this one is the next one to get filled up to leach. Including this tank, there's only four more that need water. One of those tanks is the Lei... And one of those tanks is the Lei Pola, which my dad was super excited about. And so am I. They're some of my favorite. They're like jet black with white and yellow dots all over them. Polka dotty. They look absolutely beautiful. They're gonna have their little stingers, so you gotta be careful. But maybe I'll take one home as a little pet. Figure it out. I won't tell anybody. Should be any time. They just have to paint these walls before we can start filling this one up. And it's really cool to be walking through this place, remembering videos that we filmed in here when it was a thrift store. I mean, we were stupid, just running around, going on random stuff. Stuff. I don't even remember what the video was. I remember having a ball, having no idea that we would eventually be building an aquarium in this exact spot. Oh, this is Delta. I think you should get that one out. Oh, I did. Oh, oh, I did. Nice. <laughs> Delta. This one's so tiny though, but I feel so triumphant. Wormy, wormy. Under the arms. Big bazooka. Big bazooka. Uh, one less gator. Come on, Mr. Gator Gator. I think you're Gary. Okay, and just like that, we have all eight baby gators out the tank. Get you back this way. I, I'm heard them, heard them. They're going behind stuff. Uh -oh. Where did Noah go? Noah! I think I got a call in. Noah? Where did you go? Because we have the gators out. We're up front. And you're not here. All right. I'll be right over. Gosh. God, what is his problem today? You're just not sounding nice on the phone, man. Same rings true with the marine predator tank. Honestly, we don't even know what's going inside of this tank yet. My dad kind of had some stuff lined it's up. kind of up in the air, honestly, at this moment. But we have to wait for this wall to be painted before we can fill this up and leach it as well. Not to mention, still are waiting for this to get put in there. 
But last but not least, the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, I don't even know what we're waiting for. What the heck is this? An Orby? That's for another video. And guys, look how beautiful that this is turning out, right? We already showed it off before, but it is mesmerizing. I can't wait till the acrylic is in. We start filling that up. I think we might have to leach this one too. That's a lot of water to leach. 100,000 gallons or something? Like I, I can't even imagine. Seeing that, there's gonna be a bridge that's above where we'll be able to walk up and that's how we'll be able to feed some of the sharks and the fishies in here. I mean, the videos that we're gonna make inside this tank. It's cool to be standing in it because one day water's gonna be above my hand. I'm gonna need like a scuba mask to be in this exact spot. So as much as it's cool to get all the progress done, really trying to soak this moment in because before we know it, like everything, the aquarium's gonna be open. You're gonna be walking in it and that's gonna be cool. But this moment, it's not gonna last forever. And my personal favorite is this little piece of coral right here. I mean, it is just so beautiful and colorful. I don't know, it just tickles my fancy. Look at how big this is. It's huge! And I know that this looks so cool now. But just wait until the poles are all coraled out. This is gonna be completely refurbished. There won't be any of that, that styrofoamy plastic wrap over. So you'll be able to see right through the Leopoli, the Archer tank, the bridge tanks in the background, all having matching coral in one cohesive art piece. This place is gonna be absolutely epic. Is that Noah? The Lions lost yesterday, so I'm angry. And that's why I got the crew to do something to boost my spirits. I always keep a stash of chicken and tongs behind the leaves. Is that why it stinks in here? No, it's fresh. Oh. It's refrigerated. I can keep snacks back there? I want to boost my spirits with some feeding. Oh, and there it goes. The first one took that piece of chicken. Come on, buddies. Got a little group of graders over here. Come on. Oh, get him, Connie, get him. Now they figured it out. All right, Mike, Mike. Oh, God, there's one. Man, whose idea was this? Oh, he's getting away. Baby gator's on the loose. Come on now. You let him get all the way over here, Noah. What are you doing? I had to get this one. Not the easiest thing ever. <laughs> Buddy, you're supposed to eat it. They've never really eaten out of their enclosure before. I think they're a little scared. Alligators climb fences. And look, this is a perfect example. Have you seen in Florida them climbing the fences? Look at them. That's so cute. All right, here we go. There you go, buddy. You little feisty guy, huh? See, just so the lions lost it, that, that's okay. You get a little gators out and a little chaos, you know? That's a little fun. We only have eight here at the Red Terran right now. But at the Legacy, that enclosure is going to have over... I think like 40 gators in there. Can't wait, Mike, until I have you bring all 40 out no. and we do this again. No. Yeah. No, no, no. And of course, we'll make a video going down to Gator Land, picking out the ones and then shipping them back. But for now, we're just going to daydream about that enclosure over at the Legacy. Speaking of that, let's go back over to Legacy. You guys, uh, put those gators back, all right? Thank you. So it looks like Dante laid out a nice little spread here. Four courses of corals. I have no idea where Dante is, if he's even still in town. Probably figure that out. These will be placed inside of. Where are they going to be placed? I think some of these pieces are going to be for the double bull nose. To get outfitted yeah. with new coral. I'm hoping some of these pieces are for the poles. And then the rest of it, I have no idea. There's a lot of coral, dude. There's a lot of coral. This it is almost a coral nundrum. Get it? Cause the in all seriousness, this is really cool. A piece like this. Not only is it art, and this takes vision and creativity and the imagination to create, which Dante and his team do an excellent job. I've never seen his work until they actually showed up. It's absolutely amazing. Also, one tiny little square costs thousands of dollars. That makes me wonder how can I get into the coral business? And it really makes me wonder what these are gonna look like inside of the tanks. What are those? What? You're opening yeah, it? Yeah, I'm gonna open it. Dust in the eye. All right, this seems like a lot. I don't wanna redo all this. These are bull nose tanks. Do a do an exercise with me. Close your eyes. Imagine a 12 foot tank with a rounded ends. And it's about five foot tall with fishies and corals. Keep closing your eyes. Keep Just keep closing your eyes. How do I do that? Um, Pick them up the same way I can. Okay. I think I'm getting better at this. Oh. Honey, you haven't even made a trip yet. I'm working on it. Oh my gosh. Oh. I, um, I'm going to come back for that one. Feisty. That's hey. not very nice. Come here. You look better, Gator, than that. Show all the people how nice you are. Watch this. You can take them. Shh, cheesecake. Relax. Relax. Close your mouth. As you can see, guys, you're not that bad. 
We're just way taller than they are. They're scared. You bring them up to the same level as you, they're puppy dogs again. Isn't that a good boy? Why were they so, like getting them out of their enclosure was so easy in the water. Trying to grab them outside on land was so difficult. These alligators have grown up in here. These alligators know that this is their home. They can swim it with their eyes closed. Take them out, you put them in a new scenario. As I said, when I picked up Cheesecake, I showed everybody I could pet him on his head and I could pet him under the chin also. Yeah. Because he's used to being carried and he's used to being held. We do all the educational stuff. But then all the other ones, we might not pull out as much. And when they're this close to the ground, we are scary. giant. So that's why they act a little bit that's more defensive. That's why the smaller ones are extra spicy. As you can see, as soon as you put them right back in their enclosure, Oh, they're so cute though. Look at this. It looks like they're doing some extra ventilation. I think that's new. I don't remember seeing that. No, all and the ductwork? Yeah, and then look at the framing for the walls, which I was wondering when and where this would end up at. Come into the reptile shop. So cool though, man. So this is it. We're in the corner. Wow. This is cool. It's coming out good. So I think where we're standing right now, if I'm not mistaken, is Matilda's Matilda. enclosure. So this is where the Matilda and the Cappy Bar Literally. are going to And then there's an arachnid and ant wall in the back. What kind of ants? That's what we got to figure out because some ants are illegal to have. We should get, if it's, we should get the bullet ants. Oh. Any, anyone that new comes into the crew got to love. Love up. I'm not doing it though, but they can. So it's really cool seeing all the progress being done around the legacy, especially just not being here for a day or two. Seeing all the work that's getting done, it's happening so fast, like I said. So we you guys stay present, enjoy this moment. But hey, all those little problems are working themselves out. Speaking about. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.